Hello friends, today let's try to evaluate this integral. That is the integral from 0 to infinity of x upon e to the x minus 1 dx. So what will be this answer, okay? Now let's get started. Now solution. So let's our integral to be i. So which is integral from 0 to infinity x over e to the x minus 1 dx so now this is good now multiply both numerator and denom denominator by e to the negative x right now so after multiplying now since we multiply both numerator and denominator by e to the negative x so now multiply them so e to the negative x into e to the x is by exponential law in is just 1, right? So minus 1 into this is this guy. So and what is this? This is nothing but the geometric series, right? So this is, this is nothing but the sum from unequal to 0 to infinity of e to the negative nx. Okay? Why? Because this is the exactly the same, right? So 1 over 1 minus x is equal to the sum from unequal to 0 to infinity of x to the n. So this is a geometric series. So applying that, so 1 minus e to the negative x is sum from unequal to 0 to infinity. And our integral x e to the negative x into e to the negative nx. So next will be, now let's combine this to this exponential both. So by law of uh, indices, so if these two are base are the same, and they are multiplied, so the power should be added, right? So the power is added, and negative both are common, so negative common. Now here let's use sub, uh, substitution method. So let's put that this n plus one x is equal to u, right? So if you differentiate it, n plus one dx equal to du. So or i is the sum from unequal to 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to infinity and what is this x if you find out here x so n plus 1 should be in the denominator of u right so which is x over n plus 1 okay so just i'm using in place of u x okay i'm just changing and e to the negative x because n plus 1 x is this guy here right Or in place of this, let me change it. Let's say x, x, right? So make sure that this x and this x are not equal, okay? So x is, right? x over n plus 1, x over n plus 1, e to the negative x, dx is, dx is nothing but dx by n plus 1, right? So since n plus 1 is, Since n plus 1 is, is not involved in this integral, meaning this integral is with respect to x. So, the meaning n plus 1 and n plus 1 is constant. So, coming out here. So, coming out. So, n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 1 whole square. And we are left with x e to the negative x, right? This one. Now, in this case, we are going to apply the integration by parts, okay? Now, sum from and equal to 1 to infinity and plus 1 whole square so if you if you take so this is the first function and this second function so first function integration of second function integration of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x so the, um, so the, our integral is from 0 to infinity and minus the integral from 0 to infinity derivative of the first function so derivative of x is just 1 so we respect the x okay and the integration of second function is negative e to the negative x dx so now here if you put the limit here if you put here infinity so e to the negative infinity is nothing but zero okay and if you put zero here so x is zero so this whole time is nothing but 
this and this plus what do we have okay i is nothing but unequal to 1 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 over square and this guy we get 0 so plus minus minus plus integration of e to the negative x dx next so i is going to be the same thing so integration of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x so this guy if you plug here in place of x infinity so in infinity should be 0 and this minus and this here minus so plus so if you plug here 0 it will be 1 right because any number to the power 0 is 1 so what do we left minus 0 plus 1 is just 1 so we are left with this one the sum from unequal to 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 over square what what does this mean this means that if you plug here n equal to 0 it start from 1 and if you plug 1 it start from uh, 2 right so this can I can interchange it sum from n equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n square this two the expression are the same this guy is start is start from 1 here also it start from 1 okay same thing so this is nothing but zeta of 2 Riemann zeta of 2 Riemann zeta of 2 is pi square over 6 so our whole integral is integral from 0 to infinity x over e to the x minus 1 dx is pi square over 6